Hello everyone, welcome to Tasty City. Today on the menu, we'll be making catfish pepper soup with yam. So if you like to see how I made this, keep watching and don't forget to click the like button. So let's get started. For this recipe, I'll be using two medium-sized catfish, which has been properly washed with some hot water and lemon juice to get rid of the sliminess. So please make sure to give yours a good wash. Okay guys, so to make this catfish pepper soup a bit filling, I'm going to be adding some yam to it and it is totally up to you if you want to add yam to yours or you want to make it that way. And I'll be using the whole tuber of yam. In here I have my pepper soup spice and this is a combination of Oda, Uziza seed and Ehu seed all blended together. You can feel free to use your own combination of pepper soup spice. In here I have about 2 tablespoons of blended crayfish. So because I don't like the end result of my pepper soup looking brown in appearance, I always like to add bell pepper to my pepper soup. So it is totally optional. You can omit the bell pepper if you prefer. I have one red onion, about one some size of ginger, five medium size um, garlic cloves and one scotch bonnet pepper. In here, I've got some fresh parsley, which you can also substitute for scent leaves, otazi or basil to season i've got one shrimp seasoning by maggie and some salt to taste so let's get cooking okay guys so the first step is to peel and cut the yam into small cubes and here with me i've got a bowl of water so i'm going to be cutting and um, just dropping the yams into this bowl of water. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting the yams just like so and into the bowl of water goes the yams and I'm just going to repeat the same process until I'm done. Alright guys, so I'm done with the peeling process and at this point I'll just go over to the sink, give them a good wash and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done with the washing process and I have carefully transferred them to this pot because I'll be cooking the yam separate. So at this point, I'm just going to set the yam aside and then we move over to the next step. Okay guys, so moving over to the next step. At this point, we are going to be blending the peppers, the onion, ginger and garlic. And I always like to blend up my onion when making my pepper soup. So it is totally up to you if you want to chop yours or blend it. So once I'm done cutting everything, I'm just going to add about half cup of water, cover up the blender and blend this up. All 
right guys so like i told us earlier i'll be cooking the yam separately and the reason is that i don't like all the excess starch from the yam releasing inside the pot of um, pepper soup because i don't like my pepper soup water to be um thick but light so at this point i'm going to add in some salt and i'll cover and pre-cook or parboil this yam for about five to six minutes and the five to six minutes begins to count the moment the pot begins to boil so over here I have my washed catfish transferred to the pot so to that I'll be adding in my shrimp seasoning cube Next I'll be adding the pepper soup spice The blended crayfish And some salt to taste. So lastly I'll be adding about four cups of water and you can add the water according to the quantity of um, pepper soup you're making or how light you want it to be. At this point I'm just going to cover and allow to cook down on a medium heat for eight minutes. Okay guys, so back to our pot of yam, it has been cooking for 6 minutes now and I'm sure most of the starch must have um, released inside this water. So what we are going to do at this point is to transfer the yams to our pot of pepper soup. I'm done transferring all the yams to the pot of pepper soup so at this point I'm just going to pour in my pepper, onion, ginger and garlic blend then I'll add some water to rinse out the blender. So once that process is completed I'll give it a stir and test for seasoning and adjust if needed. Now you want to be careful when stirring the pot so you don't break up all the fishes. I'll adjust my seasoning by adding some salt to taste then I'll cover and allow to cook down for additional 5 to 7 minutes. Oh my goodness guys, I wish you all are here to perceive this aroma. Like the pepper soup spice flavor is just all over my kitchen and this smells so delicious. So at this point I'm going to be adding in my parsley, like I said earlier you can use um, scent leaf that is um, in chuang, you can also use otazi leaves or basil. So once that is added in I'm just going to give it a gentle stir, turn off the cooker cause we are done cooking. <laughs> Okay guys so here is the end result and if this is calling your name kindly let me know in the comment section cause I will be sending yours right away. <laughs> Alright guys so we've come to the end of today's video and I hope you all give this recipe a try cause it tasted so delicious. And if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing by clicking on that red button there that says subscribe and when you are done click on the bell sign that's so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I want to say a big thank you to you all for watching. Stay safe until I come your way next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Bye for now and God bless you all.